everybody welcome back to another video and greetings from the trail this is Derek Partridge your northern Nevada realtor and I'm here at Alum Creek in West Reno this is a really cool trail it starts off in Coughlin Ranch as a green belt with a paved asphalt trail that meanders along this very creek and it slowly transitions up this uh, dramatic canyon to where I am now in Forest Service land and it turns into a dirt trail and it goes up very steep inclines as it follows this uh, this creek up into the eventually Mount Rose wilderness so the cool thing about it though if you're a mountain biker this is great because you can take Forest Service roads up to the top of this trail and ride it down and it's really cool uh, just watch out for hikers because uh, there are some tight corners and uh, some cliffs and things like that as you uh, go up further into this canyon. But anyway, I really encourage you to check it out. I actually just found out about this trail and stumbled upon it this past weekend, so I'm really excited about it. Uh, anyway, this week I just wanted to share with you what uh, I as a local real estate agent am seeing in the local real estate market. So here in Reno, I'm noticing a lot less uh, new inventory come online daily. Uh, there still are new listings. They're just a bit more few and far between than we would typically see in our spring market. So if you are, if you're sitting on a vacant property and you want to sell it, this is a great time because you don't have a lot of competition and agents are able to show vacant properties. So that's another great thing. Another thing I'm seeing here in the market is virtual tours are becoming a lot more accessible on the consumer branded websites. So before you might have had to search and look around for those virtual tour links, but now they're, they're showing up on the listing itself. Instead of seeing that open, you're seeing kind of a video camera there. And that is a, a, a good transition for us because it, it enables buyers to really check out the home and the virtual tour technology, especially like Matterport and those uh, virtual tours these days are really high tech and cool where you can really visual yourself, visualize yourself there. So I really encourage you to check that out. And houses are still selling. We're still, loans are still processing. There are a few more hurdles in the loan process and there are a lot less accessibility to jumbo loans, those over uh, five, six hundred K. So other than that, things are moving pretty smoothly. Closing times are really about the same. The big, I guess, X factor is the appraisals. Uh, those are kind of running a bit of a lag. So we're looking at three weeks on appraisal turnarounds. Uh, so, which is, you know, usually it's about two weeks. So we are still chugging along here as an essential business. And I hope that everybody is staying healthy and safe out there and enjoying our beautiful spring weather right now. But uh, anyway, near or far, if you've got real estate questions, I've got answers. So please ask away. Let me know what you guys are doing. Uh, I love to hear about home improvement projects that folks are working on or maybe yard projects uh, this spring uh, while they're in quarantine. Uh, I'm doing a few around the house uh, myself. So anyway, stay healthy and safe, and we'll see you next week right out here on the trail.